there are many tests that you can run against your data to verify if it's CDIS compliant. Uh, I'm going to talk about a, a couple of tools, one that will evaluate the differences between attributes and also using ProxCDIS, which is part of uh, BaseSAS, to evaluate the uh, compliance with some of the guidelines and also evaluate the variable length which um, to make sure everything is standardized. So let's start with the uh, difference test here. If you were to click on this, you can then select um, the data sets that you want to verify. So in this case, um, I can just select the data sets I wanted, click on the uh, arrow to place all the data sets. Notice that I can have it in multiple different um, libraries so I can compare many different data sets. Once I have that, I click on OK and it will perform the comparison the evaluation to see if my um, data are standardized. So the results look something like this. There's actually seven different evaluation tests and the, it did find some differences here. It found four findings on variables with the same uh, variable name but different attributes. It also found seven findings on labels. So let's take a look at that. The first one is um, notice that it, no it, it highlights some of these in uh, red to indicate that there are some differences. So if I were to look closely here, I see that there's two uh, of the same variable visit v from two different data sets but they have different types and different lengths. That could be a problem. Um, and if you go down, you can see further that other variables such as CMTRT, the um, treatment variable, notice that in one case it was defined as 20 length and in another case it was defined as 150 in terms of character length. So those are the types of differences that you can look through and make sure you change uh, it could be also uh, label differences that you would then need to update in order to make it consistent. So those are good findings using the diff test. Another um, evaluation you can do is look at the proc C disk here. So in this case, if I were to select some of my data sets here, let's say the CM, and go ahead and click um, OK, it will it will run through Proxidus and uh, it will generate a message in the log to tell you if the data set is okay. So in this case there's no significant findings so it just makes it shows me a note message saying that the domain data uh, is valid. That's all. <laughs> I guess if there are more findings it would generate uh, more messages but in that case it looks okay. Um, I am going to run a variable length test however because the diff test did reveal some uh, variable length issues. Now, In a similar way, let me go ahead and clear this out from a previous selection. Um, you would select the data set that you're interested in and then you would click on this arrow to select them. And note that um, in addition to selecting the data sets, I also am going to select the length rounding option. This means that I can round it to the tenth or the twentieth or no rounding meaning it takes the longest length and sets that as a standard. Uh, this will be revealed in the report. So I'm going to set it to ten. When I run the report it will actually update my data sets with the standardized lengths and then show me the updates that has been applied. So what it does is it looks at all the variable lengths, finds the longest one, and updates it so that all my data has the correct length settings. So as you can see here, it highlights in yellow the ones that it did change. So in this case, the birth date was originally of length 12, but then it found that a lot of the values were relatively short. It changed it to 10. Now another variable, um, the end date here, 
was also 12, it changed it to 10. Now this is the significant one where the treatments that we had were found in two different data sets. One was 20 and the other one was 150. It took the longer length and it standardized so that all the variables um, in different data sets with CMT or T will be updated to 150 in length. So that's an example of where if you don't have your variable length standardized, this will take the original value and change it to um, the updated value that's more standardized. So these are the types of checks that you can do among other checks to ensure not only standardize among the, the internal structure but standardize against CDIS guidelines.